open world RPGs are fun to play. We are going to start adding objects to our world. Buildings, maybe a table, maybe a treasure chest. Those things that help tell a story and give a character something to do. Now, we have our terrain ready to rock. If you don't, make sure to check out the last video. We painted our grass or our mountains or maybe valleys, whatever you decide to make. Now let's add some of the objects to them that will begin building out this sandbox so our character can, well, play within it and play within this world that we create. All these assets I use, Creative Commons Zero, uh, Public Domain, I made all of them. Anything I didn't make, I don't recall, but it would be Public Domain Zero. Use them for this, use them for anything you want. Now let's dive in. So I have terrain in my 3D game, 3D game ready to rock, ready to go. It is my favorite thing ever. I want some assets. I want to set up a village. And that's what I'm going to focus on this time, right, for my RPG game. So I have all of these assets already loaded in. If you don't have a terrain, make sure to check out my last video. Uh, here are my models ready to rock. So I'm just going to honestly drag them in. These are all, I think I made all of these. I did. They're public domain, CC0, however you want to call it. That's how I'm releasing them. They are, use them in this, use them in anything you want. Uh, yeah, go for it. So I just dropped in these models. Let me click on them and here, well, they are. Let me also grab for reference. I often use a color reference sheet. Mm -hmm, debating. Yeah, I'll drop this in. Uh, oh, do I already have it somewhere? Yeah, I've already have it in the assets. Great. All right. So now for these models, bunch of cool stuff here. And I'm just going to show you what I mean. Let's drag in some house. Boop. And I'm going to double click to zoom in on this guy. And let's turn around. Quapow. Ah, adorable. Quapow. Oh, look at their little cottage. What about a tree and a... I don't know what treasure chest apparently I thought I wanted to have. And uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, I made a lean to look at all these fancy things. So what I'm going to do is start moving these fancy things around, as I just so call, elegantly called them, to create a bit of a scene, a bit of a village for an RPG style game. You should, well, do the same. So nothing needs to be perfect. I don't think there's some grand design to this unless you know something I don't know. But I just want to have some fun with it. So I might actually decrease this guy's scale to something really handy with Unity. If you do a star, an asterisk, times 0.8, right, times 0.8, what that's going to do and what it is doing is giving me 80% of the original size. So I just decrease that, but I don't have to do the math in my head. All right, let me grab this guy. This guy's going to be across the street, I think. And again, quick and loose or whatever those words that cool people use are is fine just set something up that is usable and we'll go into uh changing up these colors if you hate the colors i chose in my defense unity does change colors a bit they look a bit different in here than they did on blender click and drag that maybe over here somewhere should I make this more separate maybe this is like a stall or something just imagine these whole people's lives i guess Good, good, good. Oh, I also have, I don't know why there's a treasure chest. <laughs> I'm just leaving it. Uh, what is this? Mud hut. Is this the one? So one of these is all open and I don't think it's going to go with this scene. Cool. Let me throw out some trees at this and maybe make some size and color changes. So for the trees, honestly, drag and drop them. Don't stress about any of this. It'll look good believe in yourself. So I got these three set up. I'm just going to select what I just did and do a control D and grab them and move them. Mm, looks good to me. Let's turn them all. I don't like that one. That one's going away. Bye. Mm, did I do too many? I'll kill off that one too. Okay. Beautiful. So let's just check the level here. I want to make sure these have some contact. If you have an issue when zooming in with items disappearing, by the way, if you click on them, if they're like not generating right, you click on them and you click FF, that will make sure that they don't do that to you. Also lighting, we should talk about lighting. So uh, these colors might look different if you haven't enabled lighting. 
So make sure if this isn't showing for you from last time, you wanna do window rendering lighting. Once that pops up, this, go ahead and click generate lighting. You can have auto generate on if you want. It could be fairly taxing to some machines. That's why I don't have it set. Okay. So I am liking my current setup. I mean, I could do uh, some color changes now. So in models, I'm gonna put a new folder, create folder materials. So for this, we're gonna create, well, shockingly, some materials. I'm gonna start with this hut because it bothers me. So I'm gonna right click, create and say material. And I don't know, I'm gonna call this red-ish. So that, that's red, whatever. And asset wise, so I said I was gonna use this which is kind of true. I said I was gonna use this. I'm just gonna open it. Let's double click, Quapow. I use it as a reference. That's all I do. It helps me know what, well, colors are what. It's uh, the original crayon box. Okay, so I'm not loving how yellow this guy is. Where are my models? And I was gonna say red-ish. Uh, maybe something more like that. And once I have something, that's definitely not red-ish. Um, I'll call this brownish apparently. I can go ahead and rename. I just hit F2 to rename, brownish. Okay, and now I'm gonna make another one of these. I can right click, I can do create, I can do material, and we can have as many as we would like. Uh, this is gonna be orange. And like I said, I use this for reference. Uh, what's a nice orange I like? Oh, it's gonna be fuzzy wuzzy mostly because of the name 87421F. Call it fuzzy. 87421F hex codes there. That will get us that color. Perfect. And now I can throw that at this. Maybe I didn't. All right, I'll do that. See, now I can't decide. Oh, no, I like that. Okay, so there we go. That's my hut fix. Uh, maybe I want some lighter colors with this guy or, ooh, you know what? I want something different for this house. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, up here at the top, I'd like something a bit different. So I'm thinking maybe a, uh, a no, I want a gray on the, eh. Why don't we try shadow 837050. And again, you can see I'm literally just picking stuff out and you should do the same. Make these attractive to you. Eighty-three, seventy, fifty. Was my shadow, and I was gonna throw that. Oh wait, maybe I want it. Ooh, now I can't even decide. You know, I'm gonna go with the doors. Okay, and I want that. Where is this guy? Yep, I want you. Uh, I want one other color. I said brown-ish. I would like this to actually be more of a gray. Ooh, charcoal gray. Seventy-three, six A, six two. Can you remember that for me, person on the other side? That's useless. I'm calling this gray because I'm lazy. 73, 6A, 62 is what we got, boom. And, okay, I'm liking that. We could also do another green for the trees or uh, brown if you want some variability within them. The world is your oyster when it comes to this type of stuff. Throw one of these at that. Okay, so I am liking our world. What we are, are gonna do next, well, if you're just here to build a 3D sandbox, congratulations, you have a free and functional 3D sandbox to start messing around with now. However, if you wanna keep going on this, you wanna make this into a land of happiness and RPG-ness, now I wanna turn this slightly, a uh, land of happiness and RPG-ness, that's what we're gonna do next. Actually, let's go ahead right now though, just to make this environment look more natural more lived in let's throw some more trains at this so if you have the last video you have my trains if you watched it and let's go ahead and go into our terrain one more time right here and i'm gonna do a new one maybe some stone out in front of these and i think i have one set up for that again all of this is three cc zero it's completely free to use i'm gonna use this guy i'm gonna use that's fine two's fine i don't want it super strong uh, I'll make it larger, just kind of outside the houses. Make that smaller for him. Kind of see where I'm going with this. Put it there, and then I'm gonna throw some dirt at him too. Dirt around that. 
It doesn't need to be perfect, but pada, we have a lived-in-ish village for an RPG or whatever else you're doing. Boom. Eh, eh, love it. Looking good. All right, so next video, I'm going to be throwing a character at this. We're going to eventually get into movement and a whole world of RPG awesomeness. If you're just here to make, well, a 3D sandbox, boom, you have that. Go have fun. All right, but for me, onward.